Is everyone still awake? It's a hard uh, list of um, speakers to follow. Uh, first, let me thank uh, Bill uh, for, as far as I know, and getting me involved in coming and talking about this, and uh, each speaker that's taken their time out of their busy schedule to put this together. Uh, first, in talking about this, I think one of the most important things to me, and I'm sure to you all, is to thank the troops who are fighting currently and who have fought in the past that give us this freedom to gather like this. Do you mind, real quick, those who have served our country, would you stand so we could all recognize you, please? Thank you so much. As I, as I, over the last week, thought about what to talk about today, and I wrote down notes, and I thought, well, no, I don't want to talk about that. I'll talk about this. And as I sat down, my bottle of water stared at me. And it says, you are what you drink. And I started thinking about that. And where we are today, we are who we vote for or who we don't vote for or who we don't get involved in the political system to get out and vote. Uh, as chairman of the Forsyth County Republican Party, uh, and wear different hats here in, in different things, I first have to say that I'm a Christian first, I'm a conservative second, and I'm a Republican third in that order. Uh, the reason why I am a Republican today is of the Republican platform it's not normally followed, but if you, has anyone ever read the North Carolina GOP platform that's voted once a year? Do you know what the number one thing that the Republican platform says? Republicans are pro-life. Do you know that? You know what the second thing is? Marriage is between a man and a woman. Did you know the Republican platform said that? And then it gets into fiscal responsibility, being fiscally conservative, less government, and more personal responsibility. Go to ncgop.org, download the Republican platform, and, and read that sometime. It's quite interesting. So, you know, when you look at local government and being involved, we, uh, Jared earlier asked who had voted in the local election. Do you know that if we had had a conservative, preferably Republican, city council or county commissioner boards, what would have happened over the last few years? The taxpayers of Forsyth County would not be on the hook $27.5 million for a sand lot down on Peters Creek. Do you know that? Do you know the numbers that voted in 2008 for mayor? I'm sorry, for 2009 for mayor and city council? 10% turnout. 6.5% Democrats, 3.5% Republicans that determined $27.5 million of potential debt. What are we going to do about that? Local government, the Dell, thankfully to the county commissioners and uh, some honest people at Dell, they ended up returning the money. But there was another issue that our local, has nothing to do with the state or the federal government, our local elected officials put the taxpayers at risk. Um, what do we teach our children in our schools? Bill and others talked about the Constitution. They don't teach the Constitution or the Bill of Rights in our school system. They teach our children that it's okay for the United Nations to ban guns. And when the UN helmets show up to your door one day, you're to pay them taxes and you're to, you know, not this and just for Scythe County, I'm talking generalization. For Scythe County has a pretty good public school system. But in general, that's how important local politics are. Uh, in wrapping up here, I want to make one or two more uh, points here. Get involved. You're here. Help, re help rebrand, reorganize, and relaunch the Republican Party. Why go out and start another organization when the Republican Party is already there? Take it over. Take it, become the captain. Get involved and help me and help others take over the Republican Party and put in conservative people who believe in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. 
Um, last but not least, I wanted to encourage you on this. In the 2008 election cycle, I heard numerous, numerous people say, I'm not going to vote for Elizabeth Dole because she didn't vote right on this one issue. Now, all the married folks here, do you get along with your spouses at all times? My wife's not here, so I can, well, my sister-in-law's here, so I better be careful. You don't get along with your wife or, or your husband at all times. Just because you don't get along with the candidate at all times does not mean we should fold and drop our support. Would it be better to have Elizabeth Dole in the U.S. Senate today over Kay Hagan? So the same thing applies to Richard Burr. Do we want Cal Cunningham or some other liberal Obama fanatic down in Washington, D.C., or do we want to put Richard Burr back into the U.S. Senate come to November? Plain and simple. I know there's things that people don't agree with Richard Burr on, but let me tell you what, he's a thousand times better than any Democrat that will come out of North Carolina that will vote for Obama. And I see uh, Ms. Fisher is about ready on my time. Last but not least, I want to wrap back into this, of being in this group, and we really appreciate you all coming out tonight. It's great. I counted there was probably close to 200 people here tonight. We need 2,000. We need 20,000. We need 200,000. So I want to encourage each one of you all that are represented here for each organization, for each elected official, email 10, 20, at least every one of you has 30 people in your email box or your Facebook account or your Twitter account. Tell them to get involved. 43% of people who vote, and I'll finish with this stat, out of Pew Research, 43% of people who voted in the 2004 elections, the last data that I've seen, of those who voted for the Republican candidate, um, obviously voted that way. What the problem that bothered me is the Democrats. Do you know of the 100% of evangelical, quote unquote, evangelical Christians that voted, 47% of them voted for a Democrat. So every time that you go to church, on average, almost half of the people who sit in the church pew with you, if they vote, half of them don't even vote, of the half that vote end up voting for Democrats. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed to sit beside somebody at church or at school or the gas station and say, do you believe in the Constitution of the United States and do you want your kids and your grandkids and your great grandkids to have freedom in the generations to come? Thank you all very much for coming this evening.